Hey guys, welcome back to Thunderdome Homestead. <clears throat> I hear a lot of people, not necessarily on my channel, but on other channels, asking questions like, how can I produce my own food on in a, like an apartment or um, in the, the city or the suburbs or things like that? Uh, they don't allow me to have chickens or ducks or anything like that. So uh, what can I do? Well, I'm going to answer for you. First thing is quail. Okay. They're very quiet for the most part. The roosters do crow on occasion. But it's not very loud. It sounds like a bird and most people would be none the wiser. Uh, if you want to Google what a quail sounds like, they're not extremely loud, and people are going to think that they're like a yard bird or something. They're not too incredibly messy. You see they're in their little dust bath having a blast. <clears throat> they're not too incredibly messy. They're not very loud. As long as you keep something, as long as you keep something underneath of them to contain any water that spills or food that spills or uh, dust or... or droppings uh, you're not gonna have a mess so maybe take like uh, I'm not sure uh, I work construction so they're they're big plastic tubs we call them spill kits uh, or a, a drip pan uh, you put them under generators and things like that on job sites so there's that quail uh, they're very they're pretty low maintenance they're easy to keep. Yeah, you need a bunch of them, but you don't need a lot of space. And you can have them in like a shed or even in the apartment or house. Uh, you can keep them on a back porch, that kind of stuff. Uh, those kinds of places. Now, you hear all the loud chickens and ducks. Uh, those would be no bueno in that situation. But here we get to our next. Thing. Rabbits. Perfect uh, animals for urban and suburban living. Again, they're not extremely messy. You just want to keep something under them. One. Uh, they're pretty much silent. I mean, you're you're. They don't make any noise. Uh, you can keep them in a small hutch, just like the quail. You know, if if you have a small shed or something like that, uh, or even one of those uh, closed filing cabinets, even uh, you'd want a bigger one. But cut some holes out and replace it with wire, and you have a containment system for them. Uh, they don't eat a whole lot. They don't drink. I mean, in the summer they drink more, but they're pretty low maintenance and you have a way to produce food so that is the meat portion guys uh, as far as vegetable growing uh, there's not a whole lot I can tell you as far as like city apartments and things like that um, because in all reality you need a lot and I mean a lot more space to be able to grow anything that would even remotely sustain you. Uh, there's a reason my garden is the size it is. So, if you have the ability, get five gallon buckets. Uh, I did a, a video on growing potatoes in buckets a while back. It's kind of silly. Check it out. Might make you laugh. Um... And basically you drill holes in the bottom of the bucket, you fill it with dirt, uh, and compost and whatever garden soil, raised bed soil. Have your pick at the Home Depot and you put your plants in there. Uh, if you have a balcony, that's a good place to grow stuff. Uh, they have things that hang over railings. You know, uh, 
basically they're planters that hang over that have a little hook that hang over railings put those on your balcony put a tomato plant a pepper plant and you know whatever whatever you want to grow uh, obviously if you're going for sustainment you're going to want to do something like potatoes rather than micronutrient things like tomatoes and peppers because you're not really going to get much out of that so uh, that is my take on what can I do to produce my own food in the in an apartment or in the city or suburbs or whatever um, and you know what what they don't know won't hurt them ain't nobody needs to know you're raising rabbits or quail or whatever and if they ask play the dumb card oh I'm sorry I didn't know you couldn't do that hmm there it is and unless somebody comes and inspects nine times out of ten you're probably gonna be okay so all right guys if you found this useful entertaining what have you like share subscribe and I'll talk to you later